Welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Wednesday. Today's topic, what is diamond girdle and how important is it when buying a diamond? Hi again. A diamond's girdle is the perimeter of a diamond that divides the crown above from the pavilion below. The girdle is the widest point of any diamond. Fun fact, almost every diamond is held by its girdle to secure it in place. A diamond's girdle can be rough, polished, or faceted. Brilliant cut diamonds like round, oval, and cushion usually have a facet girdle, which gives them more transparency and sparkle. Step cut diamonds like emerald and asher usually have polished girdles that aren't facet at all. So how is diamond girdle rated? When a diamond is certified, it's measured at various points along its girdle to determine its thickest and thinnest points. Often, diamond girdle is rated as a range rather than one value. Here's a breakdown of girdle ratings. Diamonds with extremely thin girdles are more likely to chip and break. An extremely thick girdle concentrates the diamond's weight in the middle, sometimes causing it to look smaller than it really is. As a result, diamonds at the extremes are sometimes priced lower than similar diamonds with ideal ratings. Diamonds with very thin and very thick girdle ratings are well proportioned. Just be careful when setting a diamond with a very thin girdle so it doesn't chip. A perfectly proportioned diamond would have a medium girdle, though thin, slightly thick, and thick are also considered to be expertly cut. How important is the girdle of a diamond? In truth, the girdle isn't a very significant consideration when purchasing a loose diamond. A thinner or thicker girdle would not necessarily have such an impact on the diamond's appearance. Just beware of the extremes. So what should you look for? The girdle is greater relative to the diamond's dimensions. That means a 4 carat diamond and a 1 carat diamond can have girdles of the same width, but get very different ratings. So the ideal girdle measurement is different for each and every stone. Well that's it for this edition of Whiteboard Wednesday. Have more questions? Speak with myself or any other diamond expert at Brilliance.com by clicking here. Want to learn tips and tricks on buying a loose diamond? Click here to check out our top 10 buying hacks. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking here. Happy hunting.